We're on. We're rolling. Today, I'm talking about my most important artist tool. So what is my most important artist tool? What is the thing that I can't live without? Well, the answer is that there's actually a few things, and the most important one, one or ones might surprise you. So keep watching, and I'll share with you what's going on or what it is. So my one of my most important artist tools is my sewing machine. It's a Bernina 570 QE, which stands for Quilter's Edition. And I do a lot of stitching on my textured fiber paintings. So my sewing machine is a really obvious choice. It's a practical tool and it's necessary. Um, and then this is it right back here. So you can kind of see it over there. So the sewing machine is one of the first tools I learned how to use as a child. And as a vertically challenged human, my mother insisted I learn to sew because I was going to need to hem things. Those are her words, I swear. Uh, so she, she sent me to sewing lessons and I came home to use her old Singer machine to make garments. And I found I didn't really like making clothes, but I did find myself liking the sewing machine. So the hum is the material feeds under the needle, the ability to control the speed of the stitching, which increases or decreases the vibration of that hum. These, these really pull me to the machine. There's something about that that noise or that movement, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but anyway, when I began first making art quilts before I transitioned into bright, bold, abstract textured fiber paintings, I used my mom's old singer, and she'd given me her machine when she bought herself a Bernina, so as my art improved and I grew more convinced my calling was to create art, I too upgraded to a new machine, and I bought a Bernina, that one was an Artista 180, which is a model that Bernina doesn't make anymore. But it's, it's a really great machine, and I do still have it. It works, it works beautifully. Um, but a couple of years ago, I decided it was time for another machine, one with a wider throat area, which is the area between the needle and the machine body itself. So it's, it's this section right here. So like here's the needle, here's the machine. This has more space. Uh, the wider the area, the easier it is to move large rolls and folds of material through. And so, so to stitch my textured fiber paintings, I can't just keep them flat the whole time. Um, I don't make tiny little things. I make stuff that's about two foot by three foot. So I have to roll the layers like a burrito to fit it all under the machine. And so a bigger throat area helps with that. So that original singer that I first learned on had very few stitch choices and no fancy feet, which are the, is the thing that like sits on top of the material as it goes through the machine. Um, and my Bernina has hundreds of stitch choices and lots of fancy feet. And yet most of the time I use one straight quilting stitch and one particular foot that allows me to stitch in all of that texture just the way I like it. So it's not the bells and whistles that make it my most important, one of my most important tools. It's that it has exactly the bell and whistle that I need. So while my sewing machine is an important artist tool for me, it's not the most important. That designation goes to my spiritual tools, my empathy and my intuition and the way they work together. So I create feelings out of fiber as bright, bold, abstract textured fiber paintings. And to create a feeling, I have to feel it. And so this calls for empathy. And I've certainly felt all the feelings I've created to date, but I find when I can tap into the universal collective and use my empathy, I can dive deeper into the feeling I've chosen to create by accessing the collective energy around that feeling. So this empathetic connection lets me see the feeling like this really colorful, colorful and fluid version of the matrix. And the vision that channels through me shows the feeling as sort of radiating and undulating waves of energy. So kind of, you know, so, but before I dive into the universal collective to feel the feeling, my intuition helps me choose the feeling that most needs expression at a particular time. After I've channeled the vision that, of that feeling through my empathy, my intuition comes back into play to help me take what I've seen in my heart and turn it into a visual, visible and tangible object. So feelings don't have boundaries and edges, but to create them out of fiber, boundaries are necessary. So my intuition, intuition chooses the boundary shape. The energy of a feeling also doesn't have a particular form. So a feeling is waves of color and light. So I tap into my intuition to see the placement of the colored bits of fabric within the boundary that will best convey the feeling I'm creating. So these spiritual tools, empathy and intuition, are my most valued and important tools. Without them, I couldn't feel what I feel and see what I see. Without them, I couldn't create my art. 
So working in the abstract requires me to rely on the abstract. So I believe feelings come to teach us lessons, and we get stuck when we attach to a particular feeling when we cling to it. So through my art, I'm choosing to make feelings visible so I can detach and observe the feeling. Because only through observation can we see what we are to learn, and through the learning, transform. So my sewing machine does the work of building my art. My empathy allows me to connect to the feeling I'm creating, and my intuition allows me to see what the feeling looks like. This combination of practical and spiritual represents the multidimensionality of my own nature, and yours too. So if you're ready for a private virtual showing of my art, drop a comment below or send me a DM and we can schedule an appointment. Uh, if you would like to discuss commissioning me to make a textured fiber painting specifically for you or someone you love, same thing, drop a comment, send me a DM, um, and mention that you want to talk about a commission and we'll get an appointment scheduled specifically for that. So we can see what we can create together. And then finally, if you like what you heard today, Think about the one person you know would love it too and share it with them, okay? So that's all I've got for you today. Take care, stay healthy, peace and love. Bye-bye.